Here we have a very close look at where the tread is today. Keep in mind, this tire has 4,500 miles on it. First of all, welcome to the channel and thank you for stopping by. When time permits, please consider subscribing. I would greatly appreciate it. This is my KTM 390 Adventure and I have gone through multiple sets of tires in the past 24,000 miles. I've gone through the TKC 70s that I started with. Actually a great beginner tire. I mean, to put on the bike, they're better than most. After that, I went to the Mitas E07 front and back. And while I was incredibly impressed with the rear, I didn't like the front. It felt like it slipped when it shouldn't, both on wet pavement and on rocks. I don't know what was wrong with it, but for me, it just didn't grip and stick the way the reviews said. And so I got rid of that tire. Now, then I was planning a long trip, 5,000 miles. So what I put on were the Trail Max Missions. I actually have the rear back on the bike temporarily, but that's a long story we'll go into in another video. The Trail Max Missions were fantastic, except in mud. I was just blown away with how good they were. And honestly, I think that front tire is good enough for almost any terrain. Just blew me out of the water. But when I was going ahead and putting on my wire wheels, it was time for new tires. I wasn't gonna move my almost spent tires over to those wheels. So I knew I was going with the Mitas E07 Plus on the rear. That tire let me down never. It exceeded my expectations in all terrain. But again, the front Mitas disappointed me over and over. So I went looking for another tire. Now, a lot of folks say Motaz are nothing, and I have to tell you, if you're on a Facebook group for the 390 Adventure, Motaz is the tire, or the 804 is the tire that people are recommending. Now, I intended to ride the Motaz, but I didn't want to do it now. I really wanted my Mitas, and I wanted something I could pair with it. So I reached out to ADV Matt, knowing that he lays on heavy miles in all terrain, and I asked for his recommendation. And the tire he recommended is the AX41, I think, Battle Axe. And looking at the tire, it didn't look great. It looked like a open knobby with incredibly low knobs. But I trust Matt. So I went ahead and I put those tires on over 4,500 miles ago. Now, let's sit down, look at the tire, and I will tell you what that 4,500 miles has been like. And here we have the Bridgestone AX41 or Battle Axe tire. This tire is recommended for traction. Almost every review says that it has very good grip. But I'm looking for more than grip. If I wanted grip, I'd run a full, full on knobby and go with that and just replace them every two or 3,000 miles. And unfortunately, this is a fairly aggressive knob and people are saying 3,000 miles is about what they get. And I really wasn't interested in that until ADV Matt recommended it. I know Matt doesn't like a tire that burns out fast. I know Matt puts a lot of miles on it. So I had confidence that I would get decent miles. He never did mention how many miles he got on the tire, but again, I'm like, I'm gonna try it out. I need something that I can pair with my Mitas E07 Plus, and it's not an expensive tire. This is a very inexpensive tire for the 390 Adventure. I'm not sure where the pricing goes on the bigger bikes. So I put the tire on, expecting to get 3,000 to 4,000 miles out of it, given the fact that it's a front tire and the bike doesn't have even 45 horsepower. I wasn't sure what kind of grip it would get, but I expected it to be fairly decent or Matt would not have been running it. And what I found was this tire grips as well as my Tusk D Sports do on my Honda. I was overly impressed with how this handled all terrain. 
the very first place that I took it was South Florida into the sugar sand. This is a fine white sand that if you vary at all, it just kind of digs the tire and drops you. And I went into that sand with very little sand experience, expecting to be flying over the handlebars all afternoon. And what I found was, well, I don't know how to ride in the sand and I was gripping the bars and I was jerking them and making mistakes. The lugs on this tire just climbed through the sand. It compensated for my lack of experience and or ineptitude. And from that moment on, I absolutely loved this tire. When I brought it back to New York, I had a chance to ride in my natural habitat and that would be impacted rocks, loose rocks, and nearly endless mud. And because I was coming back a little bit early in the season from my Florida trip, I was actually able to test it in a little bit of snow. And what I found was this, these lugs give, but not that much. So on impacted rocks, it's a little slipperier than I would have liked, but in no way not manageable. But they eat through the gravel and the loose rocks impeccably well. And in the mud, you'll notice here there's almost like a paddle pattern. There's a lot of open spaces. So that would indicate you were going to get great forward momentum through the mud. But unfortunately, that usually indicates a little bit of a lateral slide. And I don't notice that at all. I am very surprised, but this tire, even with its open pattern, does not seem to move laterally when you're in a soft surface, both the sand and the mud. And quite honestly, the snow it did fairly well is also. So my experience with this tire has been, I would recommend it 110%. Right now, this tire is sitting at 4,500 miles and in just a smidge. I honestly thought I would be taking it off now, but when I took it with 4,300 miles onto the Smoky Mountain 500 and started doing some mileage, I was thinking, I really hope I have enough traction for this. And then when we got into the sharp shale and the imp impacted rocks, etc., the heavy gravel, I'm like, well, this is going to toast this tire, so I better get it off of here soon. But then when I got home, I looked at the tire. It honestly doesn't look like... The part of the Smoky Mountain 500 we did impacted the tire at all. It looks just like when I left. I'm thinking 5,000, 5,500. And for a tire this aggressive at this price, I'll absolutely buy this tire again. And I would strongly recommend this for anyone on a bike this size. Again, I can't speak to how this will wear on a big, heavy bike. My estimation is nowhere near as well. I think the extra weight and the extra power will eat these knobs right off. I also don't feel confident with this on a rear, even on a bike this size. I think the knobbies are just too aggressive. I think there's just too much space between them and it probably would not be a rear tire I would pick up. So let's talk about the very last terrain I ride on and that is pavement many many miles of pavement where I live you can go 12 miles to get to a wonderful trail system for off-road riding but I traditionally take my Honda there what I use the 390 adventure for is adventure I want to ride hundreds of miles camp out ride some terrain that I just cannot get at home and I've been doing that on this tire. I traveled 1,300 miles on this tire on the pavement to get to great riding. And on pavement, it outperforms. It really just outperforms a knobby. I will say, when you lean over, there is certainly a point where you realize, I am on a knobby tire. This is no longer smooth. But it's never stepped out, and it's never slid. Again. 4,500 miles, 2,500 of those are on pavement getting to places to ride. 
and this tire has been absolutely fantastic. If I have to say it has one problem, however, and this problem should never be a factor for you, and if my wife is watching, it's never a factor for me outside of testing, and that is, I'd say there's about an 85 mile per hour max speed before you go from smooth cruising to I should not be going this fast on this knobby tire. For me, that's 85. For you, it may be 105, but keep that in mind. This is not the tire you speed down the highway on. It is just too aggressive for that. Well, again, the Battleax AX41, highly recommended, at least on the 390 Adventure and similar size power bikes. This is an amazing tire. I believe you'll get at least 5,000 miles out of it and that makes it an incredible buy in my book. Well, if you stuck around this long, thank you. I appreciate it and take care.